Would you fill that bucket with water? Hail, venerated king of gods, Grimnir. The land, air, wind, and spirit of Glia. This day marks the forthcoming of our greatest tribulation. I beseech thee, bless our battle and thy land with thy protection. Misses. Yes, though it is a simplified version. You've experienced encounters with gods in other lands, haven't you? As it so happens, I've had a similar experience myself. You mean... It's quite an eventful story. At a time when I was still known as Rosfida, I grew up in a modest village. All the villagers were passionate devotees of the Norse religion. I led a peaceful life there, until the day I nearly died pulling a drowning child from the river. That was when I met the King of Gods. The weight of his presence was boundless. In exchange for saving my life, Grimnir imparted a mission unto me. He tasked me with expelling the forces of the god who opposed him. That god was Luki, and the forces blessed by him were Bratai's army. To realize my mission, I volunteered for the Glian army. It was there I met my companions. Hmm. Yes, but in today's world, it is known as a war between nations, not gods. After a hundred years of war, Bratai no longer had the morale to continue their losing battle. It was at this time when the gods Grimnir and Luki were both slain upon the other's blade. In the chaos, I was deceived by the king of Bratai and sentenced to death by burning. After that, the Norse religion in Glia was gradually superseded by the hieroglyph church. That was my life, my past as Rosvita. I cannot change my actions, nor do I have any desire to. My only wish now is to continue protecting the land that my companions fought for. I am beholden to them for leaving the war in their hands. <laughs> hmm. You're not the first to tell me that. companions would badger me to no end about it. Don't go fighting on your own. You can depend on us, you know. Hold out your hand, Adol. Grimnir gave that to me. It's an emblem of authority given to the leader of the demigods who fought the Grimwald Nox. But most of its power has faded. I want you to have it, Adol. Yeah. I know you will. It's not my intention to burden you at all. If something were to happen to me... Hey, there they are. What brings all of you here? Were you looking for us? Yes. We began to worry after you two had not returned. We traced your footsteps here. Hmm, what have you two been doing so far away from town? <laughs> we can't take our eyes off of you for one minute, can we? <laughs> Guess the saint's more human than we thought. What are you on about? Stop it, you guys. We're just glad that you're both safe. Wow. The view of Balduk from up here is incredible. You can feel the energy from the festival, even from here. Whoa! I can see my fields! And look, the Colosseum! You can see that far? Trying to spot Felix? <laughs> I guess there's no stopping a cow in love. Love? That's rich coming from a violent runaway bird brain. 
Can we stop wasting our time with this nonsense? Hey, what's the matter with you? Hmm? Oh. I was just reminiscing about some very dear friends of mine. Listen up, Monstrums. We're all going to pray to Grimnir to watch over us in the next battle. I know. How about we do some last-minute training? We need to be at our very best. Oh. All right! Hey, whose side are you on anyway? Yeah. Something's 
here. here.
Yeah. Job well done. Allow me to explain. Tell me what happened. Fine work. I grant this to you. Oh, what a snooze fest. Mona, is this what I think it is? So you remember, you promised that we would have a tea party after the war was over. Yes, I did promise that before I left. I can't believe you still remember. I'm sorry, Anna Mona. I should have been the one to invite you. This was very thoughtful of you. <laughs> yes. After I told Yufa about the idea, she prepared this lovely meal for us. During the war, she'd always find a way to make scarce rations into something delicious. You were always too busy playing outside with boys to learn how to. <sighs> Was it really necessary to bring that up in front of Adol of all people? <laughs> What's wrong? Yes. I am curious to know how it would be to feel the world like the both of you. Feel the world? Yes. I am only a doll. There are many things I do not understand. The warmth of the sunlight, 
the gentle breeze of the wind, the aroma of this tea before us. I wish to feel it too, and to learn more about this world that you two love so dearly. Ramona. I am not used to having thoughts like this. Are they good thoughts? Or are they bad thoughts? doll as such i should not be having these thoughts to begin with you've grown up anamona rosvita i think having those thoughts are what makes one human hmm. i wonder could it be that the thing you were searching for wasn't me but your own self hmm? oh i remember when papa's alchemy experiment failed I lost my soul, and as punishment, I was separated from you. You've been through a lot, Anamona. you found what you lost, and you're finally with me again. Oh. Welcome home, Anamona. My best friend in the whole world. I am home, Rosvita. Thank you for bringing her home, Adol. You're the reason I was able to keep my promise to Anamona. I wish to thank you, too. It is as if there was a haze within me that has now lifted. Rosvita is right. I was really searching for my own self this whole time. You have my deepest gratitude, at all. I hope you don't mind coming out here with me at a time like this. I wanted to talk to you about something I didn't want anyone else to hear. You mean... Yeah, no What? Well, I guess he has something to do with it. You already know I'm adopted, right? Well, I haven't told my siblings yet. I was planning on telling them when things weren't so chaotic. But I've been so preoccupied with work and taking care of them. I'm scared knowing that time is getting closer by the day. I'm not sure how they'll react when they find out I'm not their real sister. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, and on top of that, we all recently found out that we're homunculi. Not only do I have to tell them that I'm not their real sister, but also that I'm not a real human. I don't want them to be afraid of me. Sorry, Adol. I didn't mean to unload on you like this, but I'm also too scared to tell Felix. You're the only one I can talk to. <laughs> huh, I never thought about it like that. Aha! Caught you cheating! Good? Hey, Adol. What are you two up to? Hope it's not something Felix would be worried about. Uh, uh, what? You're not gonna cry, are you? Well, I wasn't really gonna tell Felix. Hey, Ood. Let's say, hypothetically, what if I wasn't your real sister? If I wasn't related to you at all? What would you do? Huh? What are you talking about? Can you just answer the question, Ood? Um... I guess I'd be pretty surprised. 
I see. But nothing else would really change. Huh? But, uh, hypothetically, you'd have been living with someone who was lying to you. Wouldn't you feel betrayed? Maybe not want to live with me anymore? Nope. You've been working hard to take care of us on your own, in place of mom and dad. You ask me? That's what a real family's all about. Blood-related or not, you could be a...